एस्पिरेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिजीज ऑफ एप्पल डेट इज योर एप्पल स्कैब सो एप्पल स्कैब इज कोस्ड बाय अ फंगस डेट इज योर वेंचूरिया इनक्वेलिस राइट सो एप्पल स्कैब कॉजल ऑर्गेनिज्म इज इंपॉर्टेंट डेट इज योर वेंचूरिया इनक्वेलिसिस सो फ्रॉम द नेम वी गेट द आइडिया डेट इट इज एप्पल स्कैब सो सिम्टम्स इट विल प्रोड्यूस विल बी ब्लिस्टर्स और स्कैब ऑन द leaf surface and on the fruit surface and due to which due to scabby appearance there will be basically more defoliation of the leaves which will lead to the weaken of the plant and it will become more susceptible to other disease and insect pest so let's read out the symptoms so older leaves are more resistant to infection that means it will basically affect the younger leaves right and basically affected tissue will eventually become distorted and plucked and the leaf lessens often become cracked and torn so basically there will be lessens on the leaves which will appear like cracked right so the lessens on the leaves and the fruits are generally blistered and scabby in appearance with distinct margin so ultimately there will be lessens on the leaves and fruits which will appear as your blisters and which will give the scabby appearance and due to this scabby appearance the name is your apple scab right and in case of severely infected leaves there will be leaves and fruits there will be often drop from the tree so ultimately when the infection will be severe there will be more dropping of your leaves and fruits and ultimately there will be more significant defoliation for 2 or 3 years in a row which can result in weakened tree that are more susceptible to your freeze damage insect injury and other disease so ultimately due to more and more defoliation which will be basically uh, which will be lead to the more susceptible uh, susceptibility to the insect pest attack and basically more susceptible to the freeze disease right so these were the symptoms that are produced by the apple scab that is basically your fungus venturia inquilis right so here are symptoms so in this image we can see this uh, this is scabby and blisters present on your fruits right and on leaves we can see this basically blisters on the leaves which will basically under severe infection lead to the defoliation of the leaves and ultimately your plant will become weak and will become more susceptible to the more susceptible to your insect pest attack and more susceptible to your freeze freeze damage and disease right so these are symptoms produced by the venturia inquilisis on the surface of fruit and on the surface of leaves so on the leaves we can see this blisters and on, on and also on your fruits these are basically scabby appearance right so next we will talk about the disease cycle of apple scab so generally the venturia inquilis that is a fungus which overwinters on the ground right on the leaves present on the ground right so after over uh, overwintering there will be production of ascospores in the flask like shaped bodies in the dead leaves so this is basically flask shaped right and in this basically there will be production of ascospores right so ascospores will basically spread in the wind right and after spreading it will basically lead to the infection in the newer leaves right so new leaves will be basically infected due to the due to the, uh, due to ascospores which will cause basically scabby spots on the leaves and also on the fruits so this is primary uh, primary cycle of your infection and talking about secondary cycle so what will happen basically after the primary infection there will be conidia produce and uh, uh, conidia will lead to the spots on the other basically new leaves right so then what will happen basically fungus will overwinter in the leaves in the dead ground right so this was all about the disease cycle of your apple scab right disease cycle of your apple scab which is caused by a fungus that is your venturia inquilisis which overwinters in the on the ground in the leaves right and what will happen basically under the favorable conditions ascospores will be produced in the flask uh, flask scab structure and it will basically spread uh, due to uh, due to the wind and rain splashes and it will basically cause the scabby appearance on the surface of the fruits and leaves right so talking about management for the management purpose what we will do we will use the resistant varieties like enterprise freedom gold rush jona free liberty right red free so these are some resistant varieties so what we will do basically we will use the 
resistant cultivars right so these cultivars are important you need to memorize all of them so resistant cultivars we will use basically for the prevention or for the resistance from the apple scab, apple scab which is caused by venturi and equalis right and one bond management practices we do for the apple scab that is your fungicide scheduling right so you may be asked question about the fungicide scheduling we basically do in the for the management for the apple scab so what we will do basically first of all first spray will be done at the silver tip to the given tip stage and what we will do basically we will use the captafold 200 gram or captan 300 gram or mancozab so we will basically spray, uh, spray the captafold mancozab or captan and second spray will be done at the tree stage of pink bud or 15 days after the first spray so what we will do basically we will spray second spray after the 15 days of first spray or at the pink bud stage of your apple what we will do basically we will again spray with the captan 250 gram or with the mancozab 300 gram and the third spray will be done at the petal fold stage we will basically spray with the carbendazim 50, 50 gram right and 10 days later after the petal fold we will again do the spray with captan 200 gram or Mancozap 300 gram and the last spray will we will do after the 14 days of fruit sap fruit sap with the captafol 150 gram so basically what we we are doing basically we are scheduling the fungicide spray right so the management of uh, this is important management of apple scab for the apple scab what we do basically we do the fungicide uh, scheduling and what else we can do basically we can use the resistant cultivars so whenever the apple scab will come this point should come in your mind that it is caused by the uh, caused by venturia and equalysis that is an fungus so it will basically cause the blisters and scabs on the surface of the fruits and leaves due to which basically there will be defoliation of the leaves for basically two to three years and which will lead to the weakening of the tree weakening of the tree and it will lead to the susceptibility to other insect pest and other disease right and for the disease cycle what we will do basically uh, for the disease cycle what it will do basically it will overwinter in the leaves fallen leaves and under favorable conditions ascoscores will be produced which will basically spread uh, which will basically spread due to wind and it will cause scabs or blisters on the newer leaves right and basically older leaves are more resistant right so that's all in the apple scab i hope you have learned something new today that's all thank you so much have a nice day